What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and we're here with another Sims 4 video. Today I'm showing you guys how to use the Andrews Pose Player with like single Sims and also with groups. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so once you have Andrews Pose Player installed in your game, there is a link to the mod in the description below. You're going to go into build by mode and then you'll type in teleporter or tele, you, it, it doesn't matter, it's not showing up. And you're going to look for the sim teleport destination. It's like a little knight, zero simoleons, and then you're going to place them wherever you want. Now if you have multiple groups, then you need to do this. You need to do bb.moveobjects on. And that way you have more little knights in one place because when you do groups they have to be layered on top of each other all right so because we only have two sims we're going to do a pose for two sims i'll only need two teleporters and then we'll go back into the live mode and we'll keep my little pause button right here just so my sims won't run off but it really doesn't matter because you can either summon a sim within the world that you're currently in or you can teleport a sim that's in the vicinity of where you're doing this and we're going to teleport a sim so we'll grab Jenna, and then we're going to click on the next one again, and then we're going to teleport a new sim, we're going to teleport Melissa. Alright, so I have both my sims here now, so I'm going to choose a pose. So right now, I'm going to go click on the sim, I'm going to look for the pose pack, which says pose by pack. You can also choose pose by name, however, I really can't remember the names of the poses I download, so I'm just going to do pose by pack. And then, how do I know that I'm on the current sim that I want to pose some? poses have a male version, toddler version, child version of that pose and you can just see with the little icon of the sim that you currently have selected right there. That is a big help especially when you're layering sim upon sim upon sim upon sim, upon sim and like all their meshes and all their pixels are just yeah. So yeah that helps. So you're gonna look, so you're gonna look for a pose that has that you want to do. I'm just gonna use the F selfie that I have and then I'm going to choose just a regular one so I'm gonna give Jenna 1A alright so I'm gonna get out of this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose Melissa same thing just go ahead and go to pose by pack and then I'm gonna look for the same pose pack which is elf selfie but instead of giving her 1A I'm gonna go ahead and give her a 1B I'm going to go ahead and click out and then I'm going to press play and there you go so there you have your sims all posed out for you and they they okay yeah they look kinda good. So we can go ahead and get that screenshot real quick because you know you won't give the effect of them taking that selfie because you want it up close and personal. Alright? Alright, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to just do this single sim. It's the same process of doing two sims, however, it's just one sim. So you go back into build by mode, click the teleporter again, place it where you want your sim to be. I'm just going to put my sim right here. And then we're going to go back into live mode, click the teleporter, select the sim. We're going to use Melissa. I have Jenna over there on the couch. You guys can see her real quick. Hold on. Where is she? Oh, she was there. Well, she, oh, she's right there. Alright, so I guess she didn't want to leave on the couch. Oh well, that's her prerogative. Alright, so we're going to click on Melissa. We're going to go into the poses pack again. I'm going to choose one of my favorites, which is the... There it is. The Simple Model Poses V6 by Cat's Blob. And I'm going to do the all-in-one. Alright, so I'm just going to let her rip and press play. And then right there, there she goes. Now, some of your poses that you download depends on the animator if they actually put them in all in one. Some of them actually require you to like click on each one, which is totally fine. But luckily, Cat's Blob put it all in the animator, so it just rotates for me. And all you have to do is press that capture button. See, see, you're doing great, honey. You're doing fabulous. All right, thanks, guys. If you guys want to know how to install the actual CC in mod, there's an icon right there for you guys. And there's also a video on how to do post-production. So once you take these pictures, you know, make sure your little Sam's on fleek when you post them on social media and all that good stuff. So there's a video for that also on my channel. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!